course, KTSM 9 News is your local election headquarters and the city of Las Cruces, you might know, recently adopted the ranked choice voting system that happened back in 2019. The Las Cruces city clerk talking to us about how exactly that system works. Here we have seven mayoral candidates. You can rank anywhere from one to seven. You do not have to rank them all. It's in order of your preference. And then as um, all the votes are tallied at the end of the night, what we start doing is that we start eliminating the lowest scoring candidates. Um, and so that's what we call instant runoff. So a little bit different than what most voters might be used to. It was one of the largest races we were tracking last night. Let's uh, go ahead and see if we can take a look at those results right now. These are unofficial. You can see Cassandra Gandara is leading with about 35% of the vote. Closely behind her is Eric Enriquez with 34% of the vote. And behind them are some of the other candidates, including Isabella Solis and Mike Tellez, as well as the other three in the race were Mariah Hernandez, Eugenia Gina Montoya Ortega, and finally Alexander Baca Fresquez. The count of that vote is expected to resume at 930 this morning. Back here in the Lone Star State, El Paso ends and the rest of Texas voting on multiple state propositions, including one of the more popular ones, Prop 4, which as you can see, passed with an overwhelming margin. This would increase the homestead exemption for school district taxes. And Prop 11 also easily passing with approximately 63% of the vote there. This one actually impacts us directly in El Paso. It would allow El Paso County to issue bonds and also develop and maintain parks and rec facilities. Also on the ballot was Prop 9. It passes easily as well. That one you might know adjusts the cost of living for retired teachers. You can see it was approved with 84% of the vote. And for more information on the elections, you can always go to our website that is KTSM.com.